How you doing so far though? Honestly, I don't know. I think right now I'm at, last I checked I was in second. Uh, this will be my fourth that I just put on the board. Oh, got him! Oh, God, get out of the grass, get out of the grass! <laughs> I made the right call to come back in here. Oh, gotcha! Oh, I spooked him right next to me, too. Please, he's too big for the net. Y'all, he's too big for the net. This is insane. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. So in today's video, you're going to see simultaneously one of my worst and one of my best days of fishing that I've ever had. Now, this day, I was fishing a tournament, the Snakehead Premier CPR Tournament. And right before this tournament hit, a bunch of rain hit. So I really had to rack my brain about where I was going to go. Most of my normal waters here in Maryland, even over in Delaware, the Eastern Shore, I knew most of those were going to be flooded out. So I was like, where do I go? Well, I arrived on Virginia. And if you want to learn why, stick around to the end. I'll discuss all the tactics, all the gear, the decisions that led me to come here. Because it definitely, definitely, definitely paid off. So I want to keep this intro short so we can get to it. But stick around through my pain in the beginning of this day. Because I'm telling you, once I crack the code... I tore those fish up and the action that you're going to see, the top water hits, I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's go fishing. Good morning there folks. Coming to you today from down in some Virginia waters. I'm out here fishing the Snakehead Premier Catch and Release Tournament. Now the only downside right now is I have plenty of light to fish, but lines in is not until 7 o'clock. I got to sit here and watch these fish move and rise and do everything else for about, I don't know, another 40 minutes or so. But one thing I'm going to do while I'm sitting here is try to observe any type of snakehead behavior. Barring that, any type of behavior from different kinds of bait. Use the time where you can't fish wisely. Try to be aware of your surroundings, look at what's going on around you, and then pick your lures and your tactics accordingly. Now, we've had a lot of rain so what I'm doing over here, A, I'm targeting grass because snakehead love grass. B, I'm targeting this grass because this underwater vegetation, one thing it does, one of the reasons it's so important in the environment is that it traps all the sediment. So even though we've had all this rain, the water I'm sitting in right now that has hydrilla probably has a solid two and a half, maybe three feet of visibility. Out there on the main stem where there's not as much grass, it's about a half a foot. So I'm targeting this grass for multiple reasons. Now, we will see how the day plays out. There's a lot of other kayaks out here. There's some different bass events going on on the same day. But we'll see how it goes. I haven't been down here in about two years, three years almost. So it's been a minute and I've never known this place really well. So <laughs> hopefully I can figure it out well enough today to put five fish in the kayak. The birds are up and moving. The fish are moving. I just need that clock to strike seven o'clock. All right, folks, get back to you for lines in. All right, folks, it is lines in time. Here we go. Son of a gun, that wind is blowing. Now, like I said earlier, we had just had a very big, very rainy weather system move through. So for the beginning of this day, you can still see the wind was blowing pretty good because it was blowing that front out. So what I eventually ended up having to do was use my anchor to slow my drift so I could make sure I could fan cast and cover each one of these areas. And I had started with the idea that I was going to use some subsurface presentations, but when I tell you this hydrilla was thick, I mean it was thick. So that my inline spinners, my blade wakers, lines of the lures that I was planning on leaning on just did not work out with this structure. So I eventually switched over to top water here, and that was the ticket. However, I was not ready. I made some crucial mistakes, and you're about to see them back to back to back. That was a monster. That was an absolute monster. GoPro, stop recording. 
That's a good cast. That's a good cast. You're just not playing. Ooh! He missed it. It's definitely a snake, too. Another snake just rose right in front of me, but I think he's spooked. There's one. Done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. Holy crap. Got him! Got him! Stay on! Stay on! Stay on there! Stay on there! Are you a bass? I swear to God. Are you? Son of a gun! Finally land a fish and it's a bass. Son of a gun. <sighs> Finally land a fish and this is what it is. Mm. Oh. He missed it. Son of a... Yeah, that's not good. He grabbed the feet. Darn, 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 he darn! Missed it again. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Oh, oh. He was on it. Gotcha! Yes! Stay on! Stay on! I swear to God! Stay on! That's a big one, y'all! That's a big one! That is a big fish! Get out of the stuff! Get out of the stuff! Yes! That's a good fish! Let's see if we can land it. There we go. Well, folks, it only took the first, I don't know, three or four hours of this whole day but I finally landed a snakehead. I have missed and lost some absolute monsters out here. But now, at long last, we have a fish. It's a good fish. Not as big as some of the ones I've lost today, but it's a solid fish. She'll probably go 25, maybe pushing 26. That one missed it. And I managed to keep it in the strike zone for when she came back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, she'll come in just a hair over 25. Solid fish. Not the size we'll need eventually, but a solid fish. At this point, look at all these fish in front of me. At this point, I'm just happy to have landed a fish, y'all. This morning has been a struggle. I do mean a struggle. Hey, get your tail on the board, jerk. Really, carp? Check the photo, CNRO2. Now, what I'm gonna do with this fish is lay her inside the kayak until I get confirmation that everything is good with that photo. Like I said, good fish, solid fish, but not what we're gonna need eventually. There's just too many big fish in here for a 25 to cut it. I mean, I've lost at least two fish today over 30. And I've lost more besides that and seen more besides that. Confirmed. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All 
Where are you at, Psycho? Come here. Where's your head? There you are. There she is. And there she goes. Whew. All right. Let's do it again. There you are. Ugh. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Do not come off. I swear to God, do not come off. Where's my net? That's a monster, dude. That's a big one. Holy crap. Ugh. Well, that's what we need. All right, folks, we've got one in the net, but he's also off the hook. And it's a monster, absolute monster. No, 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 no. you stay, the, ah, ah, ah. stay in there. Stay the heck in there. I kid you not, folks, I've lost no less than three or four just like this one. Okay, there she is. What a fatty. What an absolute fatty. Oh, I'm lucky I landed this fish. So lucky. All right, just let me get your picture and you'll be out of here, okay? Holy crap. Actually, she might not hit quite 30. She's just thick for days. Yeah, she's 28. 28, she'll be darn close to 10 pounds though. I mean, she is thick. For real, dude. Holy crap. While we're waiting, let's get a weight on you. So I guarantee she's going to be at least eight. We'll see how high she goes. And she will come in at, and that's 3.84 kilos. I'm going to put her in here until she's confirmed. <laughs> man, what a fish. So did one hit you and run, man? Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. Yep. But yeah, I mean, had I been on my game this like from this morning from jump, I, I'm pretty sure I'd be in first, dude, but I have not been on my game this morning. You're trying to set the hook too soon, or? That's part of it. The other part of it is that uh, one of my rods right now, rod and reel sets, like my favorite frogging rod is down for maintenance. Oh, crap. So I've been trying to use a different rod and reel for it, and I just, I can't get good hook sets. It's something I gotta work on with my form. But I just, I cannot get good hook sets with it. All right, folks. This tank right here has been confirmed. So let's get her back. Look at that tank. Whew. Thank you, beautiful. And let go. Let go. It's on you. Let go, bro. Let go. Come here. Come here. To hold on to your fish. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not playing no games with that. I've had enough go wrong today. It was shortly after lines in, I had an absolute dragon crush it. And I went to set the hook, and it was the most limp wristed hook set you ever seen in your life, bro. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And like it was like before that, I was even talking to myself. I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do you're going to get the hit, and you're going to wait, you're going to count to two. You know, pull up the slack, make sure he has it, and you're gonna set the hook like your life depends on it. I mean, I set that hook like I don't, I don't even know what, Ben. All I saw was him jump away. All I can say is I had the camera running. If I can put three more on the board, I'll have a shot. Osprey, this is my water. You go somewhere else, man. <laughs> Oh, buddy, right next to that big grass. All right. Nope. Oh, that's a, that's a snake all day, bro. I don't think I can reach him from here, though. I literally just cast at the end of my spool. Oh, really? Otherwise, I would have made it to him, yeah. Come on. Oh, you're going to pop right next to my frog? 
Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Missed it. It's right here, idiot. Come back and get it. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that back on him. Jesus. Oh, my God. I got... Oh, oh. He's right behind me. I can see him. Take it. Mm. Mm. Is that a bass? Is that a giant bass? I got a big old bass, dude. Son of a gun. That's a good bass. Well, again, folks, not what we're here for, but a heck of a bass. <laughs> Fudge muffin. You're supposed to be a snakehead, sir. One more big old green fish getting in the way of my snakehead fishing. <laughs> you son of a gun. Apparently, losing fish and tangling up rods is my job today. Cool. I think it's officially time that I have to change out the reel on this rod. Because this line, this knot's not going to come out. It's too far gone. I don't have time to mess with it. Yep. Okay then. That reel was already low on line and I got that knot pretty deep into it. It was not coming out. So, luckily I have spare reels. <laughs> I had to swap it out. Now right after I landed this little guy, I proceeded to miss even more fish because I was just pulling the trigger way too quickly on those hook sets. But they were also biting short and missing the frog several times too. And then one actually ripped one of the legs off of my Tekel Honker, which was the last Tekel Honker that I had with silver feet, which I think was key out here today. But that wasn't all, there's more. <laughs> I missed another fish and in pulling on that hook set, I again ended up losing about 20 yards of line off the reel that I just put onto this rod. It was one thing after another out here between gear failures, missed fish, fish missing me, biting short. It was a frustrating morning, but it wouldn't last much longer. I promise it's about to be on fire. Now, when I started the day, I really wanted to use the buzz bait. I knew it would be a hot ticket, but there wasn't enough water yet. There was still way too much grass locked up on the surface. But around this time, the water came in on the high tide or really started to push in. And man, that buzz bait, like I thought it would be, was the e-ticket. <clears throat> GoPro, start recording. And again, not what we're here for. But that's another really nice bass. God dang it. I was first casting this buzz bait right there. Now I need a snake to do that. Ooh. Big snake I just spooked right there. Ah, oh, that timing was unfortunate. I would have got a chance to bring it right by that grass mat had he not spooked before then. Jesus Christ. Ah, there he goes. Son of a
Mm. Fish. Let's see what. Bass. Dang. Good bass, though. They are loving this buzz bait. Boy, they are loving it. <sighs> Maybe I should have entered the bass tournament. Come on, snake. Where are you? I know y'all like buzz baits. Don't play with me. You know you want it. Come on. Mm, got him. That's a ooh. God, if you listen, help. Come on. Mm, got something. Got something. I think it's a bass, though. I think it's a bass. Uh, I think it's a bass. Please don't. Please don't. Yeah, it's a bass. He's pulling. He's no, no head shakes. It's a bass. I'm telling you. I should have entered a bass tournament. There she is. Bass are all gone, folks. Don't even come out for them. They're all gone. Snake it in them all. Get up. No, no, get up. Oh, crap. Okay. Holy crap. I wish that y'all could have seen me fighting to keep that fish out of those weeds. Oh, good hook set. That's what saved this fish. I got a really good hook set on him. There we go. Heck yeah. Okay. Get off of there. All right. I'm gonna try and leave you on the hook if I can get away with that. Solid fish. I mean, solid fish. Okay. These fish down here are tanks, man. I mean tanks. Pro tip, y'all. When you're fishing a tournament, make sure that when you take your picture of your fish, the lure is out of the shot. Because if you're in a lot of different apps or even Facebook groups that are checking in catches, things like that, if you're not careful, that lure will show up in the photo. And I don't mind sharing with y'all the intel after the fact, but on tournament day, no sir, it's competition time. Can't see anything out here. It's gotten bright on me. I gotta turn. Ow, ow, ow. He got me good on the shin. Just headbutted me. Nothing serious, but I felt that one. <laughs> uh -uh. Chill. 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 Chill out. Come on, guy. <sighs> You're being a jerk, man. Come on, lay it down. I'm double checking this photo real quick. Gotcha. Oh, God. I know. Bro. You go down there. Dude, how you doing? So earlier you saw at a distance, Brett. That's one of my Legion teammates. There's another one of my Legion teammates right here, Elmer. Or as you might know him on YouTube and Instagram, 808 Snakehead Hunter. He's going to bear witness to some pretty awesome action in the next minute or two. Check it out. I have lost and missed so many fish today, dude. Oh, it, it's, I mean, that's part of it. Part of it, you, you'll see the video, dude. It's been, it has been a freaking madhouse, bro. I mean, an absolute madhouse. So I just started using the, anybody around? So yeah, I just started using the buzz bait a little while ago. And the, the bass, everything, been tearing this up, bro. I mean, tearing it up. How are you doing so far though? Honestly, I don't know. I think right now I'm at last I checked I was in second. You got how many fish total? Uh this will be my fourth that I just put on the board. Okay. 
Oh, got him. Oh, God, get out of the grass, get out of the grass. Get out of that grass. <laughs> oh god bro oh my god dude let me give you some love man bring it in bro bring it in dude bro where you? dude how you been man oh good man holy crap you came down oh me too bro it's it it like in my head i was like i was going through my head all the spots i normally go right yeah. and i was just basically saying like god everything's going to be super high they're going to be mm -hmm. they're going to be up in the reeds yep. and i was like where can i go where when the water is super high they won't be in the reeds and i was like oh maybe i'll go to virginia good god <laughs> all right he is off the hook up, bro. off the hook let me get these grips in. Let me get them in. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's get this. Yeah, bro. Bro, that's a nice one, man. That's a nice one, dude. Let me get some pictures for you. Dude. Thanks, dude. All right. Let me get it. Now let me get him on the board. Close, Try and get this picture. Yeah, that's what we need. That's more like it. Right, let me see how that turned out. <laughs> no, yeah, you, you go on there. You go on there. Go ahead. Much yeah. love to you, Steve. I'm gonna get out of your way. Bro. No, just air, air. <laughs> you guys got five, right? Yeah, dude. Hey, thanks. Thanks, bro. Love you too, man. <sighs> oh, I'm anchored up. That's why I can't move. <laughs> now, folks, the buzzbait bite is something I had on my mind since I got here today. But up until now, conditions haven't been right because the water wasn't high enough. And even now, I'll leave some of my struggling in the video in terms of how much... Good God, he messed this thing up. In terms of how much grass is in the water. When there's too much grass too close to the surface, it makes using a buzz bait pretty much impossible. Because you're just going to spend the whole time grassed up. How did he do this? I swear to God. With snakehead, you just never understand or know how they do this. I'm going to retie. That seems like a good move at this point anyway, because I've been putting a lot of pressure on this knot. Whew. Now, y'all, he has mangled my buzz bait here. Luckily, these American Snakehead Customs are built to last. I've bent it back in place. I think that'll be enough. All right, we've got two Snakehead in the bottom of the boat now. I think that both have been confirmed. Once I double check that on my phone, I will toss them back and get right back to it. And hopefully, nail a 30 plus now. Although honestly, even a mid 20s will still be an upgrade now. I just gotta get back in the game keep my head in it let's go all right so the smaller of the two has been confirmed the bigger of the two has not oh there was a good one right there right in front of me holy crap let's go let's do it again no no Anytime you're tuning your buzz bait back into shape, make sure you do a few close casts before you try to bomb a cast. Make sure it's working well so that you don't have to do what I do here and fight to get this thing out of the grass all the way back to the kayak so I can again tweak it to get it back in working order. Oh, he messed it up. What's wrong with it? Oh, I see. It's all off angle. Now let's try. There we go. Now I think we'll be okay. I just had one. Ooh! Okay, I made the right call. I made the right call to come back in here. Oh! Gotcha! 
Oh, I spooked one right next to me, too. This sounds like a monster, y'all. This sounds like an absolute unit. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Holy crap, y'all. Please don't lose this fish. Please don't lose this fish. Please. He's too big for the net. Y'all, he's too big for the net. Oh, I got him. All right. Drop anchor. This is insane. Oh crap, he's off the, he's off the hook. He's off the hook. And he's an absolute tank. Uh, holy crap. All right, I've got to square away my kayak first. I've got to square away this environment before something goes really wrong. Okay, got that there. Is there any hope of getting this out of here before you mangle it further? Yes, there is. Thank God. There we go. Okay. Okay, that'll do. Now we gotta try and get this fish on grips and measured, and this is gonna be no small task, I'm telling you. Oh, I just lost my 360 Max. Battery just went dead, and I forgot to bring my external battery on this trip. Crap, she will not open her mouth. This fish is so fat. Oh my God, is this fish fat. Come on. Let it in. Let it in. All right, y'all. Look at that. Look how fat it is. Dear God. And again, that's on that American Snakehead Custom Buzzbait. This is the new one. He had his old dragon buzz bait. This is the new one. Now we should be okay. Where is my card? And here is my phone. I'm gonna get a weight on this one, y'all, because this is ridiculous. And I still have two. God, it's a big fish. I'm telling you folks, if I had to put money on it, Virginia is gonna produce the world record snakehead for Northerns anyway. Oh, you got my phone so slimy, I can't even use it. No, you stay down there. You stay down there. Did not bring my wash rag. Okay, sorry shirt, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Legion of Anglers, for <laughs> sacrificing the shirt. There we go. Okay, I think I can do it now. Yes. All right, we're back in business. Now. There we go. Just be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. There we go. All right. Got her there. There's the tag. Here we go. Oh yeah. 32 and a half all day. Well folks, it figures that my 360 just died because I just caught a 32 and a half inch absolute unit. I'm telling you, look at the stomach. I'll get a weight on her in a minute. What a freaking fish. Holy crap. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I do. I'm gonna get away on you real quick and get back to fishing. And she will come in at 7.02 kilos. 7.02 kilos. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. My God, what an absolute monster, monster fish. That's number three snakehead in my kayak because I can't get my pictures to go through to freaking confirm them. 
Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you on grips. I will leave you on grips. Now. Good God, this thing is so slimy. God, I wish I would have remembered my freaking battery for my 360. This probably would have been one of the most epic videos I've ever made. I mean, it's still, it's still gonna be up there, but all the angle and action shots I can get by using that 360, I just can't do right now for obvious reasons. Let's see how bad she messed it up. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. Strong. I'm gonna need some new buzz baits, brother. Because <laughs> these snakehead are putting a hurting on them. And I can bend them back into business, but who knows? The next one could be 36 and just as fat. Actually, here, let me test it out. Now, nah, still rotating to the wrong side. Let me see how that does. That's more like it. I'm telling you, as long as I can get this thing through, keep it on top without grass getting on it, this is almost an every cast thing for these fish right now. They are love-hating. You hear that? These fish have done a number on this buzz bait, man. Holy crap. Holy freaking crap. But the reason I'm coming over here is because this little channel that runs between the main grass flat and the shoreline over here, I still have just enough depth to use the buzzer. They went a snake right there in front of me. Let's see what the phone says. <sighs> Message failed to send. I'm taking all the screenshots with the time. Because man, my phone is having troubles. Folks, I found my battery. <laughs> I knew I brought it. All right, I got my 28 and a quarter confirmed. So here is the 28 and a quarter, right there. Oop. Back she goes. All right, and that's the 32, y'all. So here, I'll give y'all one last shot of this absolute behemoth. There she is, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> oh, thank you, girl. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, behemoth. Thank you. <laughs> She said goodbye. And the 24 is confirmed. Excellent. That's a solid fish, but she looks small. Next to the others I've been catching. Doot, doot, doot. Gotcha, pump. <laughs> Good God. Hands are so slimy. I like it, though. <laughs> I do like it. Water up here is looking dirty. Oh, I just spooked one. Son of a gun. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Another go. Ooh. No! He broke me off. He broke me off. I wonder if he shook the buzz bait free. I'm gonna go check. See that? I should have retied after that 32. That's what I get. He might still be sitting there. I think I see him. I see a big dark spot. Is that him? Yep, that's him. I see him. Watch, he's gonna jump. He's gonna go off any minute now. There he goes. I don't see my buzz bait though. You jerk. <laughs> well, I've got one more. Well, folks, as luck would have it, I was in first place all the way until 
the final five minutes of this tournament. And had I landed that fish right there instead of broke it off, I probably would have held on to it. But I was edged out in the last five minutes by Mr. Jack Hare. So hey, congrats, brother. You worked for it. You pulled it out, man. You earned it. As for me, good God, the list of mistakes that I made on this day is a long one. Had I been on my game today, I can't even imagine the bag limit I would have had out there. It just would have been insane. But I did manage to catch a few more snakehead and a few more bass while we were out here, but none that were long enough to put me over the top. So let's do a quick recap of the different tactics, the decisions that I made that helped me be both successful <laughs> and resulted in some problems today. So let's start with the problems. First of all, I was setting the hook way too early. That was point number one. You gotta make sure they have it. And then when they do have it, you take out all that slack and then brace yourself and set the hook like you're trying to cross their eyes. Had I done that throughout the day, it would have went a lot differently. Point number two, if you're gonna retie on the water, make sure you're tying good knots. And especially after you catch a lot of big fish, make sure you retie. Again, those little mistakes like that cost me the win in this tournament. Now, as for what actually caused me to decide to come all the way down here to Virginia, it's one of the few places I know in the Delmarva area that has what I call a true shoreline. A lot of the waters up here in Maryland, Delaware, these other areas that I fish, when the water is high, those shorelines flood, and then you're dealing with a bunch of flooded reeds, flooded bushes, flooded forest. All of that's extremely difficult to fish when those snakehead push up way into the flooded shoreline, and they will. So I was like, where can I go where that won't be an issue? And I arrived on Virginia. So after that, finding that early season hydrilla like this is a hot ticket for that early season bite. It was great running into all of my teammates out there from the Virginia chapter of the Legion. And I'll see you all soon coming up in a future tournament. As far as the lures that worked best for me today, without a doubt, that was the Tekel Honker and the American Snakehead Custom Dragon V2 Busby. That thing was destroying them. So all in all, folks, hope you learned some stuff. Hope you enjoyed it, had a good time. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you want to say thanks for the video, hit that like button. If you really want to say thanks, you can share, or you can see my PayPal information in the video description. If you want to help me, go ahead and make more videos like this one. So thanks for watching, folks. Good luck on the water, and have a good one.